Hello everyone, KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. I've had a lot of interest in a previous product or antenna that I've done that uh, people have wanted to know because I said in a video that I would give you an update on this newer antenna on how it's held up and how it's performed. And I've never done a uh, recap video before. So this will be the first one and I'm gonna show you which antenna it is because I have been amazed. I'll tell you a little story about it and I'll show you what it's been like. I guess it would be what, five, six months? Uh, how it's held up because you wanted to know and people are asking and I guess I owe it to you and the uh, manufacturer on an update so here it is you're watching ham radio concepts does ham radio interest you if so visit hamradioprep.com to begin the journey the learning begins at hamradioprep.com <sighs> so the antenna in question is right here it is the shark magnet mount 5 8 wave 2 meter whip antenna. Now I got this and uh, Giga Parts does stock it, Shark Antennas does make it. And this is, uh, you know, Shark Antennas started with CB antennas and now they're making a full line of ham sticks and actually Shark Antenna was a very generous sponsor to the Treasure Coast Ham Fest in February. They donated a lot of ham sticks. Thank you Shark Antennas. Uh, they donated a lot of ham sticks for prizes. So what I normally have been using, so I can zoom in, is the Comet SBB7. It's on the back, where is it? It's over there. There it is in the back, see? And you can tell the paint has been missing. It's been whacked so many times. The Comet SBB7 has been a great antenna. That's a dual band. But when they sent me this and they said, you know, uh, check this out and see what you think about it and uh, how it holds up, and we think you're gonna be quite impressed. Now this antenna can actually, it's a two meter five eighths wave, or it's a quarter wave on six meters. I have used it once with the local six meter machine. I'm gonna pull this down here in a second and show you. Um, and it will, with the cutting, uh, a precise cutting on here, it will actually do UHF. So I'm not sure what happens when you cut it for UHF, but um, uh, certain people have said uh, they've used it well. So. The SWR is you know, 1.7, 1.8 on UHF in its current state, but it's pretty much flat on two meters and six meters. So let me get close to it and show you. All right, so here it is stuck here on the side so I can look at it without my tripod. This is the base loaded two meter, five eighths wave magnet mount whip from Shark Antennas. So far, hasn't really rusted. Um, you know, it's been through a lot of the elements. It's been through a lot of abuse. I've hit this thing. First thing people asked was, Will it get knocked off easily? And the answer is no. I have not once knocked this antenna off. And let me show you the proof on the roof as there were, is, has been since I put it there. Have I had to do any tuning with this antenna? And the answer is no. Here is the screw here on the bottom. Um, it's first time set up. I haven't done anything with it. So has it, has it rusted? No. Has it came off uh, with any you know, whacking of a drive through or trees? No, it has not. Uh, it is pretty flexible. In fact, here I can pull it all the way over like this. Look, I mean, that's all the way over. It's still not coming off. Um, I got the neighbor here, the four wheeler. The coax has been solid. So the thing about this antenna is it is all USA made with the exception, I think, of the ferrule. And from what Shark says, uh, you know, it's, a, it's the only thing that they uh, outsource, I guess, yeah, to keep the cost down. But everything else, you know, these, these bases are made by them. American stainless, uh, the whips, everything is hand tuned, tuned individually. The coax, you know, is all, uh, you know, sourced here. So it's an American, all their antennas are American made. Uh, they're all, you know, individually tested. And uh, it has been working well. Now here's the story about this. So, and Jan, can, Jan and John and Rick can attest to this. Now this is a 5 8 wave, and normally with a 5 8 wave, I think the angle of radiation is lower than a quarter wave. Somebody has told me in the past, when you use a 5 8 wave and everybody else is using a quarter wave, that you're actually doing not as good as them because they're, and I don't think that's the case. Now in, you know, January, February, March, you know, you get the spring enhancement sometimes, or the, you know, the, the time when VHF, UHF, uh, opens. Okay, let me close this door here so we can get a little back here. When VHF, UHF open up, you know, you have some band conditions. Uh, I was actually using this on D-Star from Vero Beach to Tampa Bay on the D-Star repeater in Vero Beach 
the whole time. Now I did have a band opening and I can't say that that has anything to do with the antenna, but uh, the, the fact of the matter is if it works that good, even with a band, you know, opening, I can't say that, you know, a, a four inch antenna would do just as good. Um, but this thing was uh, rocking and rolling for two hours while I crossed the state on this antenna. And, uh, you know, sometimes it was an S9 on a repeater and sometimes it was, you know, a little flaky, but I could still make it in. Now, that comet back there is really well, good as well. In fact, you can see on this thing, I've hit this thing so many times with uh, structures, you know, the paint's missing on here and, and it's still in tune. And, but it is a little longer. And um, this one is, in fact, just a two meter five eighths wave. Really good for simplex. You know, I've worked a lot of simplex stations on here that were, um, you know, quite a distance away. And maybe there were some band conditions or what, but my, my, here's my final review here. That Comet is not hooked up, okay? And uh, I don't use UHF too much lately, um, unless I get on a Starnet or something. But this antenna right here is a keeper. Uh, for the price, if you look at the price now, the, the price of this is comparable to any of the MFJ or other antennas, Nagoya and any tone and stuff like that. But it is um, a definitely, for the price, all American made. Now I wanna show you the difference, watch this. I want to show you the difference of what happens. I'm not saying that I'm directly comparing this to another antenna, but I'm going to show you another antenna that I've showed in the past that I really never got to transmit on. And I'm going to show you what the difference is between buying American and buying China. You ready? Now, with the exception of this mag mount, this does not come with it. I want you to look at this for a second. This antenna is the AnyTone antenna. And unfortunately, you know, I keep it down like that because a lot of people say, oh, your antenna's broke now. I, I hardly use it. This is a tri-band uh, 2 meter 224-40 antenna. But look, I, I've only transmitted through it one time and look, it's already rusted. Now this has been on uh, longer than that 2 meter antenna. Here's my Midland GMRS antenna and you can see that's been on about what a year and a half. That's rusted. Okay. Now the rust may not do anything but I'm just letting you, I'm just going to show you. Look at the little screws here. Okay. This is a little bit cheaper made some of the stuff is not holding up as well and uh, you can imagine after three or four years i'm going to guess the shark antenna would hold up a little more than one of these would okay and the reason i put this down is because this magnet here come from another antenna and it does not really hold well uh it's more corrosion there okay if you if you're talking about will that antenna fold over or get you know hit with the come off you know the the shark antenna this one has that's why i keep it down unfortunately okay it stays like that and really i am not using this antenna so right now it's just a conversation piece but that's the difference between an antenna that's got a little better quality that's american and something that's not so i think i owe it to the shark antenna to show my thanks and uh the difference in the quality of the build of an antenna like this okay so uh check out they have them at gigaparts uh two meter five this would be great for a uh, higher powered radio or something that you want long distance you know for um two meters like simplex or distant repeaters this is the way to go seven three everyone thanks for watching kj4 yzi